Hello, and welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. And where did we left, leave, left off? We killed the butterfly. And did everything down there, I think. Can't go past this gate, because I didn't buy that. And I think I won't buy that. So we go back this way, and we will go down the other way. That I showed you that was hidden. Quotes and quotes. Was hidden in plain sight. You only had to turn around, which is not that it's easier said than than done in the right moment. Is there another one hiding here? Oh, I'm so much second guessing myself in this game. Did they drop something? No, they didn't. So let's go on. Much sprinting, I don't want to accidentally fall off the cliff. He will attack me if I go further that way because. Walking through water is very loud. Now we go this way. That's a view. It's a bit blurry, but it's still a view. Okay. Ball arrows. We are in the Dark Root Basin. Message? Be wary of lizard. Yeah, I saw that. I only saw that because I knew it before. And spell is too slow. Okay. I should have just run up to it and melee him. But I thought of that too late. Great chasm to fall in directly next to me. So we can go this way and that way. I think there's an item on the ledge, so I will naturally go this way then. And I think it's an item I want. Okay, leather armor, leather gloves, leather boots and... The longbow and feather arrows, and that's exactly what I want. So we got the longbow. I should have gone up. Large bow, projectile weapon for experienced hunters. Equip arrows to use. And then a description of how to use the longbow, but I'll go to that that once we use it we have only 16 arrows so I'm not in a hurry to uh, waste them leather armor made of soft leather very common type of protective gear nothing special about that we have very light armor yes yeah I can't really go Ahead and change that because because uh, it will weigh me down. So we can go that way into that little foresty area, or we can go this way, which I want to do now. And there will be a dangerous foe waiting up ahead. Night ahead. Yes. So when will he notice me? Can I? No, I can't. I wanted to lock onto him and greet him with something like this, but that's way too slow. I want to bait him into something rash. Oh, and he can just 
failed me and I didn't think of my surroundings. Yeah, killed by gravity. The most common death you will see. Death you will see during this playthrough. I think. Maybe I'll we'll have some difficulties with the later bosses. There's some that I expect to be magic resistant, so I'm not quite sure how I will fare against those. Also, some uh, some ones with range-based attacks, so that might be difficult too. So we continue to farm more moss clans, which is welcome. I think I'll never use the blood red variant, but the purple variant and the blooming purple variant will come in handy. Check if they dropped something. Hydro. A purple one. That's great. So I get a second try at the damn lizard. I try to melee him with uh, my stick. Not running before the line, so get alerted and now. I missed him. I think the uh, the ground uh, going down at that point doesn't do me a favor there. So the the other way. So this is where my souls should be. Get them. I'm not taking the great soul error to have some more time to react to the night. And we take him from above that would be very good no there is a ledge above him to prevent that from happening okay that's around the corner okay lock on right okay, I can this Space mechanic to be able to run two meters. Run in quotes two meters. And he didn't wanna log on. And I just get for further. Oh and he died and I got a blue titanite chunk. Yeah, that's one way to kill those enemies, so I just showed you the perfect way to kill those enemies. Run off a cliff and have them follow you. Perfect, you got the best experience of watching an experienced player beat a black knight like it's supposed to happen. Yeah. I'm professional here. How did I end up walking backwards two times? I should really stop that. Stop following me so goddamn long man, I don't want to fall, fall off the cliff here. Okay, we, uh, the Black Knight has granted us another try at the lizard. He's so nice to always do that. What would we do without the Black Knight? We would have to run here by foot again or jump off on our own. And it's moving. And we get two Twinkling Titanite and two large Titanite shards. 
I think the large variant is new to us. Yes, it's new. Reinforces standard weapons to plus 10 and raw weapons to plus 5. Titanite shards are fragments of the legendary slabs. Titanite is etched into weapons to reinforce. The other one. And we got the blue titanite chunk. Titanite chunk for weapon reinforcement. Blue titanite has powerful magic energy. Reinforces magic weapons to plus 9 and enchanted weapons to plus 4. The discovery of chunks in Laudrin, the race to locate their legendary slabs has begun, but could they be mere myth? That's what every chunk says at the bottom, yes. So that's interesting. Magic weapons sounds like something we want to have. And that's re that reminds me of our need getting a weapon upgraded so we can use it to make a magic weapon. So we can melee something. Which will be helpful because we will need that possibility. Where are my souls? There are my souls. And we get the Grass Crest Shield, which is one of the best shields in the game. At the bottom of the list, as always, shields at the bottom. Old medium metal shield of unknown origin. The Grass Crest is slightly imbued with magic, which slightly speeds stamina recovery. That's very good for melee users, which we are not. So that's where we go. We'll go next. But now I just reminded myself that we had to upgrade a weapon, normal weapon with normal titanite to plus five to get a magic weapon. The upgrade system in this game is a bit, um, I'd say, interesting. Or, to put it another way, difficult to get for newcomers. So, we just go through the upgrade path that I've chosen for a weapon. But, on our way to upgrade the weapon, we could talk about which weapon we could upgrade. I'll just go ahead to a point where I can't fall off a cliff. So we are going to Andre now to upgrade the weapon, so we can't fall off a cliff. So what weapons do we have? We can, as you see, we can go on uh, without leaving the menu. So I can talk about the things. The short sword is, is a very good weapon. It's Fast, the long sword is a bit stronger. Claymore and Spyhander are too heavy for my purposes as a knight, as a, as a mage. I want to be able to do fast damage. Dagger is, isn't damaging enough. And the high dexterity weapons aren't what we are searching for. So we want to basic weapon. Uh, I'll just use this moment to point myself with the move sets to see if the long sword or short sword is more worth it. We can use both of them, which is interesting. Double check why. Can we use both of them? Oh, because I did up my strength by one. Short sword we would be able to use regardlessly, so we can take the long sword. We wouldn't be able to put one point into strength before, but that was not with the long sword in mind, so it's fairly fast, fairly straightforward swings, uh, swings so. 
uh, nothing. If you we have a really fancy move set with a weapon uh, and you're using that weapon scarcely, then that's not a good choice because you have to get acquainted to that and that's very easy with a long sword. Just these swings. You can also use the heavy attack, which is the thrust and upward smash afterwards. Also very nice because these Thrusts are very good for corridors. We have the short sword, which has the same moveset, slightly faster. It takes a l the the upper swing takes a lot of stamina. No, it takes the same as the first swing. I think. As they are literally the same, and I already put a point into strength, I'll use the long sword along with my catalyst so, we, uh, so that this point in strength isn't wasted. My. That's a rare ember you have there. I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? I can produce divine weapons with a flame such as that. Well, thanks for that. You've made a fine decision. You soon shall see. We can now make the divine weapons by modifying equipment uh, to make them divine, which will destroy uh, undead. But that's not what I want to go for here. I uh, want to just want to enforce my long sword. Takes my only titanite charge and turn it source. I'll have to up it to plus five. I don't know how many titanite I need. I'll buy two so I can so I can still use those two. Which doesn't help me because they get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Why, thank you, Andre. I want to check if I have some stores to use. Should have. Two salt, large souls of a nameless soldier worth 1000 each. And the other one was where I spoke about how proud knight means more souls because it's a stronger word, and the one soul gives us 2000 for one. Well, okay, it's. Again. You need anything forged. Now we can purchase more titanite shards. I'll buy three more. Force further. Plus three. To plus four. Now we need three. So we needed a total of ten. Something to keep in mind. Oh, no, I didn't check how much do we have. We have no. Purchase two. So we are mostly we need three hundred more. We, have, we need 500 more souls. 500 more souls to get that. Where do we get 500 souls fast? We could go after the holo train upstairs. The four border knights. Doing now. I'm not sitting at the bonfire. We need a thousand souls. Yeah. I know grinding it's not the best to to see play through, but it's just this when no go away and have to return for 
that worked perfectly well. That worked perfectly well also. And now I killed him. Killed you. They give 80 each. That's a good start. And we get a, a, a titanite shard, which is all we needed. Perfect. Had we gotten that lucky drop before, we wouldn't have had uh, to run out here. So it wasn't such a long grind after all. I think I need to grind for something later for the magic weapons, because that's not an item you just find sitting on the ground when we need for that. And that I will be doing off screen. Dr. Andre. Again, you seem to be doing all right. Need any? And we re reinforce our longsword to plus five. And now we could modify it to make it a divine longsword. That wouldn't be a good idea. And also it requires green titanite shards, which don't we don't have. Which Why is exactly the same stuff we need for our magic longsword. So the longsword now does 120 instead of 80 damage, so we get a 50% damage increase on the longsword. But I won't be using that for quite some time, I think. Do I really want to go that way? I think so, yes. Oh, I forgot that... One moment, I killed you before. I killed you before. Oh, they respawn. Because this is has to be loaded in again so you can't do like a what's it called clear laundron run heard that phrase before i think lobos did one of those so you can't really do that because the area loads back in and they are all back good to know so now we go to the cave uh, which was guarded by the Black Knight. Which takes us some time to go down here, but we'll be fine. Could also go to the forest over there, but I think I'll leave that forest be for now. There is something to show you there. So we will come back. I'm going down here for now. Switching to the great solars for the next area beyond that. What do the messages say? Wary of tough enemy directly below the Black Knight, which is nice. And a message pointing you to this bonfire. Which is being set on by someone, which is quite nice. This game is played so, so much at this time. It's great. I realized that I didn't read the Twin Humanities. Rare tiny black sprite found in corpses, very unusual twin humanity, used to gain two humanity and restore a large amount of hit points. This black sprite is called humanity, but little is known about its true nature. If the soul is the source of all life, then what dis distinction is left for humanity? Is that? We will reverse the hollowing and hope that we don't get invaded straight away. But this is not a common invasion place, so we got enough time to kindle. 
so we get 10 Estus flasks here also. Great. Now let's go this way. Be wary of Drake. Thank you. Uh, I will pull the lever. You can also get to this place from down there. So that's where, why the elevator is down there. I will show you how... Where you... From where you get there. Okay, so... I'm a bit afraid because I don't know how magic resistant these enemies are. That's like the fifth of sixth time I told you that about enemies, so... Uh, so far we had no problems. These are the enemies I'm talking about. And they might be very dangerous to us. Oh yes, they are. And we died. They are very dangerous to us and we can't do very much about them because we are not strong enough yet. So I will want to go another way. I'm just taking my souls back because so far I think I haven't lost any souls and I would like to continue that trend. I'll show you what's down there when we get there from the other side. We could also run through this place to another shortcut here which would be more convenient. Okay, so if I try to run across here I should be I should be aware of the fact that he might lose those souls. Because the drakes are not very nice. So the damn electricity follows you, which is not very nice. I think they won't follow me up this path, so should already be good. But that's a bigger one. He's sleeping at the moment, and I don't really want to wake him right now. Try up. Yeah, nice try. This is not circular, we can't go up. I don't know. As a sort of pro night. I don't want to wake you up. Oh, those, if I go between his jaw and the claw, he will attack me, so I won't take those two items. But a sort of a pro knight, a 2000 swords, as we learned. Try a ranged battle. Try a ranged battle. I think I might. Go back to here, but I don't know. So the other drakes showed me that uh, magic isn't great against drakes. So we are a little bit maybe under leveled for this zone. We could be under leveled for this zone, so we better go that way. Cross this plank. Uh, Take the large soul of the nameless soldier and open this gate. It's locked. It's locked. Oh my god. 